up y'all welcome back to my channel if you want to see how i took my skin from this to this in a month keep watching thank y'all for being here what's up you guys it's your girl chanel haley here and in today's video i will be showing you guys how i transform my skin now i will say i had a cheat code that i'm going to give to y'all if y'all don't have a dermatologist i went to one and she cracked the code she gave me everything i needed to have clear and healthy skin so let's get into it the very first thing she recommended was the cerave acne control face cleanser and one thing i can say about this cleanser is my skin knows when i have not used this cleanser it is so important for my acne and just to reduce the redness that's what i hated the most about my acne is just how red it was and did i forget to mention that my dermatologist is a black woman so of course i'm gonna trust her with my life so i trust her wholeheartedly with my skin and my skin routine and I use this cleanser just once a day. I normally just like to use it at nighttime. I don't know why this one I feel like I want to do my full skin routine. And ever since I have been using this, I will say I can no longer use washcloths on my face. My, my skin is very, very sensitive. And I have to use these cotton rounds or I'll use a facial pad, facial cloth that you can get off Amazon. But I just like to use these cotton rounds because I no longer use washcloths on my face. Now, this topical solution that I'm going to put on my skin was recommended and prescribed by my dermatologist. This is not something you can just go get over the counter, but I love this stuff. When I first started using it, it used to burn my skin like crazy. I will say some of these products that I do use, it's like a soft chemical peel. That is the best way that my dermatologist recommended it to me. So I cannot recommend y'all these without having a dermatologist recommend them for you just because they'll work on me does not mean they'll work on you just a little disclaimer disclaimer excuse me i am not a dermatologist i am not licensed i am just a girl that has had bad skin for the past couple of months and this is what my dermatologist has recommended but everybody has seen this tretinon cream um, I'm using that as well. Y'all know I have seborrheic dermatitis, so a lot of the creams that they prescribe for my face, they'll also prescribe it for my scalp, so I'm very familiar with a lot of them, just working with different dermatologists. If y'all wanna see what she recommended for my seborrheic dermatitis as well, I can do that in another video, but this is not, we're not talking about that today. We're talking about the skinny Yana and how we're getting her back on track because it was so bad. I, I didn't even want to show my face. I didn't want to do anything. I didn't want to put on any makeup. It was so terrible. I have really been a fan of this Kiehl's brand. They actually sent me over some of their products. And I have been using them faithfully. Especially this oil for my skin. It's so lightweight and hydrating. I love it. I eat it up. I use it probably about two to three times a week. This is not something that I will use every single day. And y'all, I'm so sorry for my camera quality today. I've been playing with my camera settings and this one clearly wasn't the best, but this is all we got for today. So if y'all wanna see another updated tutorial, I have added a few different things to my skincare routine and my morning routine is totally different from my night routine. So if y'all wanna see that, just let me know. So I'm gonna apply some of the Kiehl's facial cream on there as well. One thing I like to do is lather my skin up. I have like combination skin, so it's super, super dry when it's cold. And I recently started to get a little oily. So the fact that TikTok convinced me to put snail mucus on my face, I swear I can be influenced to do anything at this point. But I will say I, I really did like the texture of it. I love how it just made my skin feel hydrated. It looks hydrated. And I've probably been using this for about a week or two, so I can't give my full honest opinion on it yet. But so far, it's good. And one thing I'll always do morning or nighttime is put on some under eye treatment and I'll apply that all over my eyes. I want everything on my face to be hydrated. I'm leaving nothing behind. 
Make sure y'all are using sunscreen. Yes, black women, we need to use sunscreen as well, okay? Make sure you get your sunscreen and you're putting that all over your face. I don't care if I'm going to bed. I will see some sun in my dreams. I'm going to put sunscreen on my face every time, every time before I go to bed and before I walk out of the house. It is a necessity, and this is basically my entire skincare routine. As y'all can see, when it's that time of the month sometimes, or just when my hormones are just up and down, I will get a couple of pimples, I will get a little bit of redness. So I'm going to take this Mighty Patch, and I'm going to place it on some of those pimples that I have. So in the morning, they're gone, the redness is gone. And that is pretty much what I am doing and what I have done to clear up my skin. Thank you, Jesus. We are coming back to life. It was a struggle, and y'all, I know it is a struggle. So please, I, I highly recommend seeing a dermatologist. And I also will highly recommend trying out some of these products, especially the CeraVe cleanser. If you're experiencing any kind of acne and hyperpigmentation, you definitely want to get it under control before you have any scarring. And I was almost at that point. So, yes, here your girl is out makeup free. No filter. And I thank y'all so much for tuning in. If y'all are still here, go ahead and give this video a like and subscribe to my channel so y'all can see more. Bye.